This is ridiculous. I have been a fine employee for over 10 years. How you sleep at night, man? Huh? How's your family? They sleeping well at night? Electricity still on? Heat still on? This is what I get in return for 30 years of service for my company. You have a lot of gall coming in here and firing your number one producer, and then you're gonna go home tomorrow and make more money than you've ever made in your life, and I'm gonna go home without a paycheck. I, I just, I guess you leave me dumbfounded. I don't, I don't know where this is coming from. Project Veritas has gotten a hold of Elon Musk's phone call with all of Twitter's staff. Elon Musk buying this absolute dumpster fire company filled with sobbing SJWs as the streets and towns flooded all around Twitter's headquarters as Elon Musk told them that they are going to have to actually work to maintain free speech on the platform and not use the platform as an opportunity to project their sad, broken, weak worldviews on the rest of us watch. I think it's essential to have a, a free speech um, and for and to be able to communicate, yeah, just communicate freely if there are mul multiple opinions, but you know, and, and just make sure that we're not sort of uh, driving a narrative. In order for uh, people to have trust in Twitter, I think it's extremely important that there be transparency. I think Twitter, in, in terms of like serious issues, can be a lot better in informing, informing people about uh, serious issues. How many times has have, have the media gotten it right? Well, I would say almost never. Not, not never, but almost never. Elon Musk stating that there is going to be free speech now at Twitter and that this isn't going to be your personal gulag to punish the people who you don't like politically. Twitter's staff, based on donations, is like 98% Democrat and far left. Twitter's staff had a meltdown after Elon Musk had this all staff, his first with the company. Project Veritas got staff messages from Slack leaked of how the SJW wokesters inside of Twitter were having a Xanax-induced panicked meltdown over their new African-American boss. Listen to some of these comments. January 6th was terrifying because social media was potentially a critical analyst. What are your thoughts on how to react to memes of mass destruction? <laughs> <laughs> Katrina Lofro said, Ron DeSantis, leader of Don't Think Gay Bay. He's the worst possible person to lead the country. He is someone you openly adore. Yay! <laughs> Ryan Tanner said a hearty to the board for selling this company to somebody who cannot get through a single coherent sentence about this platform and who thinks that QAnon candidate is a moderate candidate. <laughs> and then he went on to say that this is Myra Flores. Myra Flores, who won in this district, responded to the Twitter engineer, Ryan Not Tanner. She says, I have never supported any QAnon conspiracies. The same article that is spreading misinformation clearly states that. Far left is simply attacking me for my strong conservative values. And now because I am the first Mexican born congresswoman. Ryan, why are you so threatened? Why are you and your lily white JC Penny photo here saying that you are threatened by a Mexican born American congresswoman? What is it, ladies and gentlemen, that Ryan has deep in his soul? Could it be racism? Well, I guess we'll have to ask. This wasn't the only comment that led to an apoplectic meltdown inside of Twitter. There were employees that were complaining that they have to be exceptional in their jobs, otherwise get fired. Yes, that's how normal companies work. That's how it works inside of a company. That's how you keep your company alive. You ask your employees to be exceptional, and that's what Elon Musk is asking. These absolute losers. These people are such communists. They're complaining about working. Remember, Project Veritas had leaked videos of one Twitter engineer saying that they only work like four hours a week and saying that they're communist as fuck. 
Capitalists, so we weren't really operating in a capitalist mode, we were very socialist, like we're all like communist. Ideologically, uh, it does not make sense, like because we're actually censoring the right, not the left. So if everyone on the right wing will be like, bro, it's okay to say, just gotta tolerate it. Uh, the left will be like, no, I'm not gonna tolerate it. I need a censor, or else I'm not gonna be in the I basically went and worked like four hours a week last quarter. It's just how it works mm -hmm. for our company. Yeah. They also broke another clip of a Twitter executive making fun of Elon Musk for being mentally handicapped, having Asperger's, being special. These people are such filth. Watch this clip. He has Asperger's. Yeah, yeah, I know that. So he's special. Your special needs, you're literally special needs. <laughs> so, I can't even take what you're saying seriously. Targeting of Twitter. Lucky that you met me organically, because I would be questioning everything about you. So yeah, Elon Musk has absolutely every right to gut this company like a fish, to move it to Texas, not to Austin, put Twitter inside of real America and staff it with real people who want to build a real company, not a political activist organization whose only mission it is to de-boost and de-platform other viewpoints that aren't immediately held by them. What Twitter is right now is a tool to silence the right from the left. The left de-boosts and de-platforms people who do not adhere to their ideology. It is a gulag, which is intended to harm and to manufacture consensus around leftist communist worldviews. And it is not a technology company. It is a political weapon and a political tool. It's why Donald Trump was first kicked off Twitter and we don't give a shit what Jack says about that being wrong. You did it, you Osama bin Laden looking f and so you should never, ever have a chance to ever be welcome back inside of any technology company and Republicans better damn well investigate any company that takes Jack on as a board member. Elon Musk is probably going to be doing a considerable amount of cleaning of the house. Elon Musk responded to our leaking of these internal Slack messages by saying, hmm, interesting. It's almost as though Elon Musk is taking notes and is going to be punishing these people, hopefully with unemployment inside of Joe Biden's economy that they so gleefully created for themselves. So enjoy paying $7 gas without a job from your cushy Twitter headquarters, not like any of you show up for work. And Twitter could certainly do some cost saving by getting rid of the censorship queen, the dominatrix of deplatforming, Vijaya Gaddy, who makes $17 million a year. Seriously, $17 million a year in order to lop off the heads and lop out the tongues of conservatives on this platform. This person is sick and she also reportedly sobbed at the acquisition of Elon Musk of Twitter. And we just want to sip, we just want to sip your delicious tears. Mmm, Vijaya, absolutely delicious. Cry more lib. We hope for the very best in Elon's takeover. It seems like he is continuing his route of the company. It seems as though Twitter is now complying with Elon Musk's demands for data and that he is looking through the acquisition. Hopefully the fraudulence of Twitter and their bot farming makes Elon Musk a richer man because he can take a couple points off his deal and hopefully he takes a couple points off the salary books by firing all the communist jackals who work and live inside of that company. Elon Musk is an American patriot and we are absolutely and totally in favor of more African Americans owning technology companies like Elon Musk. So bravo Elon, keep the tears flowing. Thank you so much for watching. Our channel is here for the truth and also to make you smile a little bit in this extreme era of disinformation and misinformation and people trying to control your brain and what happens inside of it. It's so important that we support independent creators like our channel and we thank you for watching. If you want to check out some more of our videos, we highly encourage that. Please punch the like and subscribe buttons on your screen 
to support our channel. It's free. And ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that you are following along with independent creators who want to keep this place free. God bless you.